Okay, we're going to make a real-time action game. Uh, I'm trying to make Robotron. This is what we're going to try to do. Here it is. It's unfinished, but I still thought I'd show it, show you what I have here. If I hit Control enter I make the movie. Okay. I'm waiting. All right, so here is, and we've got the character, and he cruises around, and he can shoot. Okay, so we're going to try to start to make a game like that. And what I have so far is a blank screen. The first thing I've done is I've taken the select tool, clicked on the background, and we need to change the frames per second, let's say, to 30, okay, or 20. Let's start off with 20, okay. And then I want you to click on the edit button. You click on that background, click on the edit button, and change the size of the stage to 650 by 500, and I change the background color to black, okay. All right, next thing is um, we need a hero character. Now, to make a hero character, it's essentially what we're going to do is say insert new symbol movie clip. I'm going to call this uh, just uh, for s example symbol one, right? And now you've got this new movie clip called symbol one, and you're going to do a hero, and the hero is going to have a three step walk. So let's say I was just going to paint it. Uh, really simply, I change the size of my brush, right? And you had your hero, right? And your hero, there's the body, and both feet are on the ground, right? And there's your hero, right? And you're going to have that hero stay the same. And then on the third frame, insert a keyframe. And then what you would do is you just erase and you'd lift up the foot, right? Okay. And then um, you'd have that for two frames. You right click here and hit insert frame. And then on the third frame right here, uh, you want to make it go back to the standing position. So you right click, copy frame, right click, paste frame, right? You need another frame here. So insert frame. So now you've got legs down, leg up, leg down, and then on the last one, you insert a keyframe and you lift the other leg up using your eraser tool. And you do that for two frames. I'm going to right click here, insert frame. So I've got um, legs down, legs up, legs down, legs up. And if you hit control, loop playback, control play, the character would look like it's walking. So that is a three frame walk cycle where each leg lifts up and then there's a standing position in between. Now instead of drawing it in the last movie we did we made some pixel art graphics and so what I did was is I put those into a movie clip called Hero and I'll double click on it so you can see it right and here it is I'll zoom in on it so here's my movie clip hero. You can see the registration point is in the center of the hero. So I moved, I made sure to move the graphic to the center of the registration point. And I also went to view rulers to turn on my rulers. And then if you get your selection tool, you can drag guides out that they don't show up when you publish your movie, but they just help you to line up your character. And what I did was is I've got this graphic on the first two frames first keyframe and then the second frame is the standing position. Then on keyframe three I switched it to the leg up position, right? On keyframe five back to stand and then on keyframe um, seven I put the same standing position but I flipped it horizontally. So you can always do modify, um, transform, 
flip horizontal and it flips it and then modify transform flip horizontal and I flip the graphic so that it looks like it's walking and if I hit enter now you'll see that he looks like he's walking when this movie clip loops all right so there's that and um, I imported these graphics from Photoshop so I did a file import import to library and I imported the um, each layer separately from a Photoshop file in the last movie so hopefully you saw that if not you can just look for it on my site uh, youtube.com dance courses and the graphics are in here and so it's in a movie clip called hero and if I right click on this hero and go to properties the name of the movie clip is hero and I set the linkage right so this is advanced mode I set the linkage export for action script is checkmarked export in first frame one is checkmarked and the identifier I put the name hero okay so this enables the movie clip to be called by code by action script and to load from the library onto the stage during runtime when the movies run dynamically so you can see that in scene one I'm gonna go leave my movie clip now go back to scene one in scene one I have nothing on the stage I have no graphics on the stage my graphic is in my library it's this hero movie clip with the linkage named hero and so now let's take a look at the code where I'm at so far is if I hit control enter publish the movie there's my walking character that's all and he's placed into the center of the stage so my hero is placed in the center of the stage I can't control him yet but he's placed and you can see him he's walking there so what's the code for that well I'll click on this first keyframe and then you need to open your actions window so you go to window actions and here is the um, scripts and I'll explain them now the first line here says in it open parentheses close parentheses and a semicolon and this calls the function calls the in it function okay so that calls the function now where is that function it's on line three it starts and I write function space in it open and close parentheses and then a curly brace open curly brace and then at the bottom you can see there's the close curly brace and some people like to put it where the curly brace is over here you can also write it like this if that helps to make more sense so you write function space in it open and close parentheses then the open curly brace and the close curly brace and they're lined up so that you can see where the open is and where the close is then in here I've got one two three four five variables right um, the first variable is the depth of our hero and basically um, flash places objects on top of each other in a stacking order of what's on top of what and I want the hero to be always be on top let's say of most things so anyway I can set the hero depth so in all capitals I wrote hero depth as a variable and I made it equal to 40,000 and I could change that let's say to um, 10,000 or whatever I wanted to do but I'm going to change it to 10,000 for now and say okay that's 10,000 so his depth level will be 10,000 that's in a variable then I wrote in these numbers uh, for these next variables that are going to control the boundaries for where our hero can go so the top boundary will be pixel 35 essentially or number 35 the bottom bound is 470 right boundary is 635 and left bound which stands for left boundary will be uh, 15 and this is going to be I'm going to put a comment here it's not really executing the code this is the um, left X boundary right okay bottom bound this is the bottom Y boundary okay and so I, I just put that comment in there to explain it and of course this is the top Y boundary this is the right X boundary and just a number we're not we'll be using it a little bit later then inside this initialization function I call the create hero function which is the word create no spaces capital H hero open and close parentheses and then a semicolon and then I wrote the function 
that's going to create the hero. And so you can see it here. And what I do is I attach the movie clip to the root timeline, to the main timeline. So I put underscore root dot attach movie, capital M, is very important when you when you call the attach movie uh, method or the attach movie function. Um, underscore root dot attach movie and then open parentheses here's the close parentheses at the end semicolon at the end and the first thing you put in here is the linkage identifier of the movie clip in the library we have the hero movie clip and I set the linkage to the word hero so I put it in here in between quotation marks then when you attach things from the library you have to give them a new name so I, I made the new name the same as the attached name, the linkage name. I gave it also the name hero. Then here is where you put your depth level. I put in my variable for hero depth in there. And then right here, I put a comma and then open and close curly braces to set the X and Y property of where I can, of where I want the hero to attach and then appear on the stage. By default, if you do it without this, right, so I could comment this out and I could just put a, I could put that there, let's say. If I just did that, commented that out, right, and I hit Control Enter, you see that the hero gets attached to the stage but in the upper left hand corner at X0, Y0 which is the first pixel in the movie in the upper left hand corner. So, but a nice quick way of um, working with that, back to my action scripts here on the keyframe, window, action, or F9, right? But a nice way of um, setting where it's placed on the stage is by changing this. Let's see here. Let me get my cursor back. So what I can do is I can put in a comma and then I can put a, a curly brace and underscore X colon stage dot width. Now this is accessing the stage um, uh, stage object uh, in action script so it has to have a capital S to work. So it's capital S stage dot width and width is lowercase divided by two and minus six pixels, so minus six. And there it is. So that, by doing that, if I hit control enter, these automatically attached from the library to the stage and placed in the middle of the screen. In the next movie, we're going to look at how we put in the code so that we can control our hero and move him with the arrow keys on our keyboard.